I'm going to be showing you guys what's inside the U.S. release of the Nintendo 3DS XL. It's uh, advertised as 90% larger screen, so let's see if that's exactly the case. But I'll be honest, I've already opened this, but I've put everything back intact to the way that you'll get it, other than the Nintendo coins. I already took those out because those are mine. And it was easier the first time around. First thing you'll notice is a pretty weighty pack of manuals. But the most important thing is it has your AR cards, but it's not in the same card sleeve that the original DS came with. But that's alright. I've already got a set, so I don't need to open these. And you'll have your Club Nintendo coins in those. If uh, when you get it brand new. And because we're in the U.S., we actually do get an AC adapter included in ours. Uh, unfortunately for the Euro European and Japan players, they don't, they have to run out and get theirs separately. So we actually lucked out for once. And you won't get your DS this way. Uh, yours will come in like a protective sleeve, but here it is. And, uh, I was really impressed by it the first time I looked at it. The uh, first thing you'll notice is that they got rid of the gloss and replaced it with a kind of a smooth matte finish to it, which is actually nice if you're going to hold it for long periods of time, of course. And uh, the ports have been moved somewhat. Uh, this side just has your volume. The SD card has been moved to this side. And you actually do get your uh, four gigabyte card in there, which is pretty nice for some eShop stuff. And the stylus has been moved to the side here for, I think, easier access. It's a pretty standard stylus, ain't the telescoping one, but that's all right. Then of course you got the the. L but near in the in your charging port and the game slot and your your IR sensor there and the other shoulder button and you open it up we greet these really really huge screens actually they're a lot bigger than I anticipated like I know they said yeah 90% but yeah, we're lying Everything's pretty much in the same spot except for these uh, start, home, and select buttons have been actually given buttons, but they're a little squishy still. You'd kind of think they'd be clicky, but they're not. But that's all right. Mm, just the game, run the system running. Give it a comparison to my Aqua Blue. Uh, the first thing you can see is that it's no longer all shiny and fingerprinty. Now it's just red and nice looking. Yeah. See them open the... I don't know if you can see that too well or not. But yeah, definitely a big difference. I mean, not downsizing this DS. This plays game just fine, but you know, if you're going to go for a long period of time, go for this. It's easier on the eyes. I have those 3D effect is a little bit better on it. And it, in my opinion, it produces better colors. And it might be because of the, the screen size, of course, but it seems like it produces colors better. And with it being bigger, they actually put in a bigger battery, so you'll actually get uh, three more hours of battery life as opposed to this, as opposed to the original DS. And I'll be... And that about wraps it up. I'll be able to make some more comparison videos of our the DS here with uh, some gameplay videos and such. Uh, one last comparison uh, with inside a 3DS XL or 3DS Circle Pad Pro. So they're actually just a bit the same size there. So I'll be able to bring you more <clears throat> more footage and gameplay videos uh, as I get around to it. So stay tuned for that and I'll catch you next time.